Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Malchus video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Malcher Minos. This mythic, it's a corrupted mythic. It was given to me by Social Point. It's an early access. So, the monster is not out yet, but it will be out very soon and you can obtain him. But um, at the moment, it's not out once again. So, this was given to me by Social Point. It is sponsored by Social Point. Also, um, for those of you that have been asking me to review Dream, unfortunately, I can't until tomorrow because. Social point where they're just like making some adjustments to the monitor here and there just a little more so I can't test it out until tomorrow um, but yeah tomorrow I'll be able to test it out okay so uh, aside from that yeah let's go ahead and get started so I already went ahead and crafted it here we're gonna go on and speed it up and we got the egg we're gonna go on and hatch it just like that here it is we're gonna go on and speed this up and you get about two rune slots open okay or I get about two rune slots open all right, so let's take a look at the animation here. So there it is. And what's going to happen here? Oh, all right. He sort of like teleports. He goes up in the sky and then teleports. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, that is 810. As you guys can see, he kind of looks like Ignis, doesn't he? Like a buff version of Ignis. That's what he looks like. Let's take a look at the traits. So you have Harden at rank zero. So right away, you have access to Harden. And then that Harden upgrades to tough next but rank one you upgrade that to uh, tough and then rank three that upgrades to bulwark so all satisfact it will have 50 percent less accuracy against this uh okay so yeah i mean first it's 20 percent and then 35 percent and finally upgrades to bulwark which is kind of cool right, you got it to level 100 let's take a look at the stats you get about 8536 that's actually a good power to have 89,273. okay that's actually very very good uh, and then speed 6248 i mean that could have been better but it's all right uh so life and strength wise that's actually quite nice uh pretty uh, good there so anyways uh so the ultimate it is a physical ultimate removes shield from one enemy deals insane physical damage to one enemy applies stun to one enemy okay that ultimate could have been better maybe if it was to all enemies that would have been a lot better but uh insane physical damage i mean you could still do a lot of damage there um especially like if the enemy has shield you could quickly cleanse that first right like remove the shield first and then you can go on and um, hit them with the insane physical damage uh, and then of course also stun them for one turn uh but aside from that let's take a look at the skills here so you have wall breakers one of them removes shield from all enemies deals moderate fire damage to all enemies okay yes i'll take that let's see what else we have uh waterproof alloy it blocks out 50 percent of the incoming damage applies double damage to itself so you're basically blocking out um you're applying damage protection which actually blocks out 50 percent and also you're applying double damage for one turn the um damage protection is for two turns by the way so it's not just for one turn only the double damage is for one turn then you have this um skill right here which removes shield from an enemy deals massive fire damage to an enemy okay let's see what else we have that's actually a pretty good skill though um then you have heat axe okay sorry Heat Axe, uh, it's a moderate fire damage to one enemy, applies Ignite to one enemy. Oh, look at that. Zero cooldown, zero stamina, so it's a spammable skill. So, heck yeah. Let's see what else we have, though. Raging Fire, it's an AoE, moderate fire damage, and you also apply Burn to all enemies. Um, okay, let's see what else we have. Boiling Water applies uh, Water Shield, let's just call it, okay? And a damage boost to itself. 36 stamina cost and 2 turn cooldown. Uh, then you have the Judge, which is a low fire damage to all enemies. Zero cooldown, 37 stamina cost. And lastly, you have this corrupted skill, which is a moderate fire damage to an enemy. Zero cooldown, zero stamina. So basically, spamable just like Heat Axe. But I prefer Heat Axe over this one. The reason for that is because you apply Ignition for two turns. Okay, so uh, that's a nice thing. But if you want to go with the other one, that's cool too. So overall, these are the skills that I went with. Uh, waterproof Alloy and the rest of them. Now, here's the thing. You can go ahead and swap Waterproof Alloy with the Boiling Water if you want to. You can choose whichever one you want. But I personally recommend Waterproof. But if you want to go with the Boiling Water, that's cool too. Um, but for the greens, here's what I went with. I went with two strength greens and one speed. You can go ahead and give this monster, for example, either three strengths as well, that works too. Or you can give this monster two strength, one speed, or team speed. So for example, what I have here, or you can swap that speed rune with a team speed or something. But uh, this is what I'm going to go with, okay, all together. Uh, but let's go ahead and rank it up to level 130. And then we're going to go ahead and feed it up for you guys the stats. And then we'll take it to PvP, of course. So we just unlocked uh, the trait uh, tough. You guys just saw right yeah so that was rank one you unlock it at rank one just like this we got it to level 130 and this is when you unlock basically everything so you unlock bulwark tough all of those good stuff so anyways we're gonna quickly get it to 130 just like that and here you go guys these are the stats this is what you get 
and with the runes combined. And lastly, we need to worry about the relics. Okay, so for relics, uh, two relics works best, in my opinion, okay? You have Laser Beam Sword, which I recommend 100%. If you have Laser Beam Sword, go ahead and give it. Um, another thing would be Cane Sword. Cane Sword also helps. So whichever one you have, go ahead and give it. I'm going to go with Laser Beam Sword. And then for armor, armor, here's what you want to give. I mean, if you have Morg's armor, that works cool. You know, that works pretty good. Uh, Nevitos armor also works out well. This armor, I mean, you can give it if you want to, just for the armor and the fact that it deals some damage with it. You know, the thunder damage. Yeah, uh, but I'm just gonna go with Mark's armor here, okay? But for those of you that have Mark's armor or any other type of armor, like basically sort of helps them out, go ahead and give it. Uh, but aside from that, we're set. This is level 130, and I'm gonna pair it up with the 150 Master Rat, okay? Uh, I believe that these two monsters actually work out very well together. So if you have a Master Rat with a Minos, you want to combine them together because they'll work out very well. You can, of course, pair this monster up with any other ones too, but. This works well. This works good. Okay. We're going to go ahead and quickly cleanse that and apply Vulnerable. And that Vulnerable is actually a good thing. You know why? Because Minus is in Zagger, right? So you can actually deal a lot of damage there. Against uh, whoever has Vulnerable, basically. In this case, it is Daytalus. Let's see what we can do here, okay? So now that it's Minus' turn, Laser Beam Sword kicked in. See? Giving me more power. Boosting up my power. And let's see what we have here. So instead of going to double damage and stuff, let me see. You have this one right here, which is, a, which is a massive fire damage, right? It's a 65% power. Let's see what else I have. Removes shields from all enemies. Deals moderate fire damage. I mean, they don't have shields, but if you want to do the damage, that's cool. And you also have that. I'm going to go with the assault skill. And I'm going to do it against the monster that has vulnerable, which is this 130 Daedalus. So just like that, 243,000 damage. And then, of course, there's Reem Sword kicking in. Dealing some damage there. That was quite nice. Alright, Master Staff. So yeah, that's another reason why you want to pair it up with uh, Master Rat because of the Staff. Okay, so in case the monster needs Stamina, there it is. Back up there. Alright, what we can do is quickly use this. Um, also, another reason why you want to pair this monster up with uh, Master Rat is because of the Fire Weakness. You see the Fire Weakness that I just applied? Minos is going to destroy. Minos is going to destroy 100%. I should have just cleansed there. It's okay. Actually, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So here, I'm going to go ahead and gain some stamina with uh, Master Rat. Let's go. Master Staff kicked in. Cool, cool, cool. And what I can do here... Um, let's just go ahead and charge up. Yeah, let's just charge up for now. Okay, now that it's Minos' turn, take a look at this. I could use this AoE skill, it deals so much damage because both of these monsters have fire weakness uh, and one of them have vulnerable. So take a look at that, <laughs> how powerful that is. Now if I had my double damage, I would have also eliminated um, this Lindworm as well, all together. But I'm going to go with this Wall Breaker, which is an AoE skill. Let's uh, go ahead and deal this damage. So wait, hold on. Before I actually do it, Laser Move Sword, 11,000 damage, Lindworm. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, what, uh, you also wear Mork's armor. No, that's definitely going to kill Linworm as well. And this Linworm isn't wearing a SN, so... Oh man, I really wanted to use this skill. But that's going to eliminate Linworm as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Laser Beam Sword Kick again, and also, uh, Mork's armor. Wait, Mork's armor, that's when, uh, the enemy attacks you, right? Yeah, okay, now I kind of take it back. I wish I did it. <laughs> I wish I kind of did it there. It's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use this against you. I'm going to quickly cleanse that stamina region and also dealing some damage there. And the rip, Bombita. Bombita got eliminated. We're just going to charge up. And Minos... Oh, hold on, hold on. I want to test something out. I'm going to go with Waterproof Alloy, right? Oh, you just had to cleanse it. Are you serious? You just had to cleanse it, huh? I'm gonna do this. I know it's gonna trick in the insufficient, but it's fine. Yeah, you just had to cleanse that, man. Are you serious? Alright. Your time has ended. Ouch. Uh, let me see here. Remove all names that the next turn. We can do that. Yeah, sure. But you're probably gonna die. <laughs> One of you are gonna die. Oh, and that is you. Okay, my attacker. It's fine. Let's go ahead and leave. Uh, but, uh, 
yeah, let's go ahead and get into another battle. So this team right here works fine, I've got to say. They work well. Let's see what we can do against a Tabora and a cooldown activator base. Okay, which is uh, Tabora and Kodama, okay? In this case. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly cleanse that. You're probably going to do the same thing. My favorite trick. And then you're going to hit me with TDA. But here's the thing. If this monster ends up getting hit with TDA, it's no problem. You know why? Here's, here's why. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. Heat Axe. Take a look at that. And especially against Kodama. <laughs> Kodama can't really do much because um, I could literally hit Kodama with this uh, Heat Axe, right? And look how much damage I'm dealing with this Kodama. 131,000 and Laser Beam Sword kicking in. That is pretty close, okay? I could have actually ended up eliminating him. But it's okay. Master Rad taking it the next turn. I could go ahead and use this Trio skill. And just like that, I apply all those weaknesses, which is actually nice. And I also go ahead and cleanse some, um, or take some stamina from them as well. Let me go ahead and charge up. And then what I can do here is I'll do something like this for fun. I'll do it again. Let me see. What do you have? Are you, oh, you have your lesson. All right. I'm going to hit you with uh, the massive fire damage. Let's see how much damage we'll do here. You guys ready? Against this Gabora. 267,000 damage. All right, that was quite powerful, I've got to say. Use my favorite trick. Uh, we can... Let me see, what could we do? Let me just charge up here. Charge up again. Let's just get rid of... Yeah, I can't really do much. Honestly, let me see. Waterproof alloy, but then... I don't feel like eliminating Bombetta because that'll just give me the win. Let's just go ahead and leave this match. All right, so let's go ahead and speed it up and take a look at this. This is level 150, rank five, uh, Minos, okay? Corrupted Minos. All right, we fed it up. Take a look at the stats. This is what you get for a stat. And with the rings combined, this is what you got, okay? So let's head over back to PVP. Of course, we're gonna do the same exact team again. And let's get into a battle. All right, so take a look at this. It's a 149 or 144, sorry, Nahin, 150 and a 130. Let's see how this battle goes. So I take it in the first turn, right? And then well, what I can do is I could apply vulnerable right away or I could apply the fire weakness. We could just do fire weakness here. Nahin can't really do much since there's a mega taunt, you know? It's not like Linworm goes before, not Linworm, sorry, Wormland goes before Nahin to cleanse the mega taunt. Yeah, he's not fast enough. Uh, but take a look at this, holy cow. Let me go with Waterproof Alloy for now. And then next turn, we're going to go ahead and deal some damage. Ooh, that was powerful. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That was quite powerful. Uh, how about I test this out against you? Okay. Let's do it against you. I'm going to test it out. Mind control. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> no, this isn't good. This isn't good. Please charge up. Please charge up. No, I got possessed. Even though I have Bulwark trade, yeah, the the um, chances of that landing were pretty low. But oh, I ended up recharging. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let me go on and charge up in this case. Wormlet, uh, Wormlet's probably gonna restart a dream or something. Let me see here. Uh, I'm just gonna charge up. Oh, you didn't. Okay, interesting. I think I'm just gonna go on and hit you with uh, the massive fire damage. Alright, so take a look at this. The fire weakness and also vulnerable combined together. This is how much damage I'm going to deal against them. 383,000 damage. Uh, once again, keep in mind it's a 150 versus a 150. Okay, and Minos was 150 and so was the other original mythic. That's why it dealt like 300,000 damage. Uh, I'm going to charge up here. Secure the soul, possession, please charge up. See, look, even though I have Bulwark, I'm still getting hit with that possession. I don't know, maybe that monster is just super lucky or something, right? <laughs> what the heck? We're going to leave this battle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and find ourselves a different opponent here. Let's see who we're going to face next. Okay, so it's a 150... Um, what's his name? Vanos. Let's see how this goes. So right away, clean the Megatont. Just cleanse it. Easy peasy. You're probably going to do the same thing for me. Yeah. And then... Holy cow. This is a 150 Vanos. Vanos, take a look at this. This skill right here OTKs every single one of them. 
This one actually, the Heat Axe, which deals like 35% power. Against this one, 34 Tabora, you can literally one-tap that Tabora. With the AoE skill, also one-tap Tabora. But against the attacker, Vanoss, right? You can use the massive fire damage, and bam, 200,000 damage. <laughs> That's powerful. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the weaknesses now. Alright. Uh, and then I'll do something for fun, like something like that. Alright, now I want to get my double damage. Let's do what I wanted to do earlier. Given that double damage. Alright. Alright, take a look at this. So now I have my double damage. I also have uh, Laser Beam Sword, you know, boosting up my power with up to 63,000 um, what's called power. Let's see how much damage I can actually do. So you, ha you do have a Ural SN. So take a look at this. If I use this Wall Breaker, it will eliminate both of them. Even without the Vulnerable or the Fire Weakness. Bam! 400,000 damage with an AoE skill. That is powerful! <laughs> Holy cow! Alright, we're gonna go ahead and quickly leave this battle. But yeah, um, overall this monster is actually pretty powerful I've gotta say. You gotta watch out from him on PvP. He, uh, combining this monster with uh, Master Wrath, it's pretty powerful, okay? So you gotta watch out. Uh, but overall, I do like the monster. It's pretty powerful, I've gotta say. So I'm not sure what event he's going to be available in, but uh, whatever event it is, I'm gonna have to do my best to get it. Hopefully, it's not a pay to win monster. But, anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, drop a like and also subscribe. Share this with a friend or so, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.